Hello everyone, and welcome back to Owlboy. Uh, last time we snuck our way through the pirate staging area and boarded the Dreadnought. And uh, after messing up their engines in an attempt to bring it down, we uh, we pissed off uh, the captain, whose name eludes me at the moment. And I will add it in editing. <laughs> uh, who then used the plot device to... Uh, Blow up Advent. So, Advent is no more. Or at least if there is any of it, it's in little pieces all over. And did this not save since last episode when I picked up all these things? Must not have. That is unfortunate. But we're gonna head to the graveyard, which is where Getty is. I think the graveyard's down this way. Or is it up there? Let's grab this stuff real quick. Kind of myth that it didn't save. Okay, let's get that chest anyway. Some goodies. Okay. Well, let's go find Getty in the graveyard. He's probably not particularly happy at the moment. I don't blame him. Actually, let's grab a snack real quick. When I'm feeling sad, I like to eat too. That's why I'm fat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, another chest. Okay, graveyard is this way? Oh, we missed a coin, that's terrible. Oh. Mm -mm. This is it's too much. I can't believe it, Otis. Everything has gone wrong. I can't stay here in Veli. It's been nice to know you, Otis. Goodbye. Also, Otis is just twiddling their thumbs there. <laughs> Very rude, Otis. I don't think we'll see each other again. Uh, you are too well designed graphically to be a throwaway character. I'm sure we'll see you later. Mm. Oh, what is this so sad? Also, that's me controlling it. I can't go any faster than that. <sighs> so many lives lost. I... I can't believe this happened. I was right there, and I couldn't help. None of the things we accomplished mattered at all. We were doing so great, and yet, this is how it all turned out. Oh, he's crying. We failed them. We failed them all. I miss it, Otis. I miss it so much. Even though we never got to fully experience Advent. The streets, the culture, the people. God, Getty's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Stop with the tears! You're supposed to be jumping off the walls. Never got to see how it all turned out. Otis, did we try hard enough? I, I, I don't know if I can go back there, Otis. Hugs? Do you think it makes any difference what we do from now on? Our future is lost. Our capital is completely gone. Think about it. The pirates destroyed Advent this easily. What are we to do? I... I don't feel like I belong in this village anymore. I've... failed all of them. 
Is it okay if I stay at your place for a while? I need to get away from here. Still in the village. Well. I guess these are uh, weeping willows, huh? Also, uh, in real life, I'm against graveyards. I feel like they're uh, a misuse of space, and they're not good for the environment. Uh, I'm, like, on a f floating rocks, I think a graveyard would be even more egregious, really. <laughs> so he mentioned going to our place, just down this way. Why don't they just have sky burials? Aww. You can... Oh, I thought it was I thought it was Getty crying you could hear, but it's puffs of smoke. Otis, I'm not sure when, what I want to do now. None of the stuff we do seems to work. Maybe everyone's right when they say we're just in the way. Oh, come on now. I guess Alphonse knows best. Maybe we should just follow him from now on. He seems to know what's going on. Maybe it's best if you and Alphonse go, like, without me. Get it. Maybe we'll have a better shot if we just stay here in Veli. That way, we can't mess anything up. Maybe we can get our lives back on track again. Maybe I could finally settle down with... Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I should check around in my house. There might be something new. Let's have a look around. <laughs> Nothing I can interact with. Cheer Getty up. Doesn't look like it. Or Getty Spaghetti. Can't even summon uh, Alphonse. Maybe he uh, can't stand to show his face. This is what the pirates did. Maybe he was afraid people would associate him with the pirates. Because he used to be one. And that's how people think sometimes. Because people are dumb. Alright, how do I get in there? That's how I get in there, okay. That wasn't that difficult. Okay. Let's have a look here. Oh wow, we still have like 79 to go. Okay. I'm not gonna fuss with that too much. Let's, uh, let's go talk to some other people. Professor, oh, we can examine this now. Huh? I oh, don't know, we could before. I'm smart. Confound it. I can't make sense of it. The only thing the pirates seem to have disturbed here in Veli is this ruin. Yet. They destroyed Advent in minutes. So wait, was the pirate in the cave just a distraction? Was her name Dirk? I think it was Dirk and something else. If only our plan had worked, the pirates would have been stopped. Yet he says the wind machinery was never even active. Then how come the islands are still shifting? No matter. The pirate threat is far greater. Okay. God, they're creepy. Hi, bro. My name is Pip. What's your name? Can't talk, huh? That's fine. I'll just call you bro. Owl bro. 
Nice to meet you, Albro. Alright, just just don't try to don't try to owl bro fist uh, Otis here. That would be unfortunate. I think we spoke to everyone. Um oh not this guy. How are we doing on supplies? Um this is all there is, Sir Strix. This is it? This village's supplies won't even last a week. Preposterous. SEO has done a lackluster job here, at best. We need to start planning a long-term solution for all of advanced refugees. Comfort is secondary. Survival is top priority. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Hello there. So I guess we have new characters because, uh, well, advent refugees. Hmm. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, I have to make sure I don't miss any shipments. I'm grateful that I have been allowed to stay in Valley. We'll have to do our best to help the village grow. Okay. Hello, Strix. <laughs> ah, Otis. It's good to see you have come too. As you can see, we are trying to cope with the poor state your mentor has left this village in. We never allowed such incompetence in Advent. But fret not, little one. With our guidance, we might get your village up to snuff yet. Okay. Over there. My beautiful house in Advent is lost. My aviary and my paintings. Only I and Chirpy made it out. <laughs> Chirpy. Also, should you be telling someone that's half owl that you owned an aviary? Not sure they would appreciate that. My relative said that escaped eastward. Hope they made it out before the pirate captain appeared. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, uh, let's go eastward. If it's a lookout. Oh, that's closed anyway. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, cutscene. A disaster. Advent destroyed. Pirates roaming free. Ugh. The professor comes and tells me that the rune hold the the rune ruin holding the relic was opened. If the pirates gather all the relics, then we are all doomed. And with Advent gone, we can't stop them. Otis, you're here, are you? Leave me. I don't want to see you here again. Uh, are you really blaming Otis for that? Wow. Asio's a fucking asshole. I mean, that's not new. Psst. Oh, it's Alphonse. Master Otis. I must not be seen here, but we must talk. Let's meet up in your house. We could talk there in private. Okay, Getty's there. Maybe you could tickle Getty with your hat? And he'll feel better? I think Getty might be into that. I've been watching a Night Cry, uh, let's play, uh, Super Great Friends, uh, let's play of it, and, uh, they have Scissor Walker, which is supposed to be a reinterpretation of, of Scissor Man from the Clock Tower games, and that character with the scissors is reminding me of them. Ah, Master Otis, Master Getty, forgive me for hiding in your home, Otis. It would do no good if the locals saw you fraternizing with the former pirate. Especially after what has happened. Advent is destroyed. And there was nothing we could do to stop it. Molstrom and the pirates. Why would they do such a thing? Hmm. Alphonse, is there something you're not telling us? <laughs> Alphonse! If you know something, anything, that can aid us against Molstrom. It might help us prevent yet another attack on Valley. You are most certainly right, Master Giddy. Molstrom, the pirates, and myself. We were all created by the owls. Aha, uh -huh. I mentioned 
that he had said created in, in the last episode, I believe. That's a thing. What? Your mentor is right, Otis. Also, I never get tired of, of Otis's surprise face like that. Mulstrom is gathering ancient owl relics. And when he gets them all, he will be unstoppable. I will tell you what I know. No one knows what our original purpose was. Likely, we were merely servants for the owls. Using our strength, the owls could reach for higher knowledge. They designed various models, each made for a specific function. We were expected to optimize. We could constantly improve our ability to carry out our function. But as you know, the ancient owls of what remained of their cities all but vanished. Without their guidance, we continued our tasks, blindly, for centuries. Mulstrom, greatest among the war units, rampaged. Built for war, he always needs something to destroy. None could oppose him. Those of us who didn't agree to follow him were exterminated. Mulstrom took us to the sky and gave us a new name. Pirates. With him as our captain, we roamed the sky, growing ever more powerful. Until, at last, the captain heard of the relics. The relics are artifacts of terrible power, remnants of, an ancient, of the ancient owls at their peak. To Mulstrom, their power is irresistible. Captain Mulstrom has found two relics. One that was hidden in Veli, and the other in Advent. Wait, so you're saying that the pirates destroyed Advent just to get the relic? Yes, Master Getty. And now, only one remains. It's important because it's in blue. If he gets a third and final relic, I'm afraid Mulstrom will be unstoppable. Is there nothing we can do? There is, but I admit I'm hesitant. I suggest him to try and stop the pirates in Advent put your lives in danger. Perhaps we, it would be best if we didn't try to meddle with the pirates anymore. The pirates are threatening Veli? We have to try and stop them. What happened in Advent wasn't your fault. I screwed up most of all. My sole duty was to protect us from pirates. Giddy. If we don't fight back against the pirates, I can't ever make things right. The pirates' next destination will be a room called the Floating Continent. In an ancient owl structure there, the owls hid the last relic that Molstrom needs. We must leave Veli and fly high into the, into Strato. That is where we will find the floating continent. Then we should go to Strato now. It's the only way we can save Veli. I shall be in hiding here until you get out of the village. All right, Otis, you ready? Let's go. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of plot, a lot of exposition. Also, how could they not tell that the pirates were, were all robotic? Unless they, they speak very organically. Anyway, seems like Getty is feeling a little bit better. Okay, we have Getty. So I'm just gonna uh, go down here real quick. A chest, I believe, that I missed. Maybe? There's something? Okay, here's a something. There's two somethings. Sorry, sorry, Gabby. Ooh, wait. Huh. That's a thing. I wonder what that's about now. There's something over here? No. Can't get there. Hmm. Where do we need the weight? Is there a pressure pad somewhere? Oh, 
Now there's these. As we well get these, we're closing in on a thousand. Ah, oops. Okay, where did this need to go? Hmm. Oh yeah, fly through these. <laughs> I'm smart sometimes. Most of the time, not so much though. Okay. Can I take it into the next area? Yes, I can. Wasn't there a. Uh, I hear it to the left here somewhere that I needed to throw something. Ah, yes. There we go. Let's take that. Is that. I think. Treasure Seeker, 3 out of 8. Okay. I guess that means we can get uh, a trinket or two. It's one every 500, was it? Can't recall. I wonder where this goes. How are we even going to get out of here anyway? Um, the gate's closed. Now they like their. Uh, Hunt spring stuff. Thingamajig. Okay, it's unlocked then. Can I just leave that there? That switch. Okay, well, either way, we can go through now. Oh. Here comes Stompy. Okay, so that's the second relic. Looking all mean and green. And we're back in Tropos. Doesn't look as cloudy this time. There's some kind of eerie haunting sound though. And a cutscene? Something's changed. Alright friends, this is Trapos. Oh, we, we know that. Thank you, Alphonse. If we continue upwards, we'll eventually reach Strato. I've never been that high up before. Is it really safe, Alphonse? Not to worry, Master Getty. I've sailed the Strato skies plenty of times. There are no more dangers there than any of the other places we've been. Uh, alright. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Get out of here. Don't be throwing shit at me. Whoa, okay. That's rude. That's very rude. Oh god, I forgot about her smile. <laughs> also, this, this penny in the back reminds me of Spongebob. Not that's a character that the show. Some of the bad looking fish. Welcome! Let's tally up that booty. Uh, uh, if you insist. You've collected 1,003 Buccaneary coins. Excellent. And now, for your surprise. Well, I hope it doesn't have anything to do with my booty. Don't like surprises there. hey -ya! I remember the trinket. That's just amazing. Now, bring it to the nice adventurer, just like we've discussed. I was hoping she would say, that's just Adequate. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good job. Ouch. Ow! Here. Okay. Congratulations, it's an ugly green hat. Well, you didn't expect to choose from the top shelf just yet, did you? Hey! That's my old hat. It's got my name on it. And nobody cares. <laughs> oh boy. Go on, little owl fellow. Wear it with pride. Uh, do I have to? Jeez. Oh, so friggin' co Wow. You look incredibly stupid. Hmm. <laughs> can't argue with that. We totally look like bros now, huh? Go, go, bros. 
Oh, at least Caddy seems to be feeling better. Rose! No! Not you! Back to your shack now. Okay, man. It's not really a shack. Super in progress. Trinket Master, two of nine. Oh, I have enough for lots of goodies. You collected what? 1,003 Buccaneer coins. Would you look at that? Time for another surprise! Next one isn't just cool, it's also very nice. It's in blue, so you know it's important. Also, I just noticed on the shelf, the highest shelf up there, the uh, the third item from the left looks like the masks of the, the smaller pirate robot things. <clears throat> You're gonna just love it. Hee <laughs> hee, give me a second here. Oh, good. Oh, ah! Drink of time. Drink of time. Here you go. Uh-huh. More health. This Buccaneer's nice soup canteen. Wrap your beak hole around that and tell me what you think. Oh, when you say it like that. <laughs> Level up. Yes, no need to thank me. Just bring me more booty. Really strange business she's operating here. Cheap in progress. Trinket Master 3 of 9. Okay, so it's every 250, it seems. Okay. It, do it doesn't know how many coins you need. Apparently. He's collected 1,003 Buccaneer coins. Well, well, well. You've, be you're be ugh. You've becoming quite the adventurer? Maybe you're becoming quite the adventurer? I think you're worthy of this next surprise. For high flying adventurers only. Adventurers only. Behold! Hurrah! I have a hat. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I can see that. Will you please bring it to the nice owl person? But. No buts. But she was asking for booty. It's yours, sir. Okay. Just, I'll just toss out that ugly green hat then. Oh my, such a hoot style. Okay. <laughs> it's a little big, but it does make you look pretty awesome. Mm, I don't know. I, I can see parts of his hair sticking through it. I miss it already. That's great. Back to your shack now. Okay, man. It's not really a shack. It's even progress. Trinket Master 4 of 9. Okay, so I'll come back in another 250. So are these supposed to, like, do anything? You already have that on your head. Silly. Can I, can I maybe not have it? Uh huh. Just wonder what this is. If it, it's showing what most things are, but it was showing this one as that. Oh, I know why, because it didn't want to spoil that. Okay, I gotcha. It's also the same symbol up here. Maybe it's a B for Buccaneer? I don't know. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. I'd like to not have the hat, though. Can I, can I, can I do that? Is that a thing? Can I maybe not have the hat? I wonder what those coins are for. Teleporter device. Okay. We saved one of these. Okay. Well, that's still... Still in there. Well, if I have to wear a hat, I may as well be, uh... Alphonse's. I guess. Maybe. Oh, look at this! Hey there. Uh, you didn't want what stuff that was in that chest, did you? No? Thanks for your help in Advent, youngling. It's a shame that we couldn't... Hmm. Yeah, it really is. We met our squad leader on the way back down. He didn't make it. I've never seen him like that. He completely lost it. I've known him for a long time, Otis. He was no coward. Even brave people sometimes lose it when things get terrible enough. 
In the end, you saved us before he did, but... Even as shocked as he was, he didn't give up until we made it out. Desperation could look like cowardice, I'm sure. I wish you could have met him before. Okay. Anything else? I'm sorry. It's a lot to take in. I've never lost a battle before. I've always tried to prepare myself for it, but... It seems that it's not possible. Okay. And, uh, was it Anne? Hey there, Otis. I'm glad to see you made it out of Advent. We barely made it. Our squad leader didn't make it out. If it hadn't been for my injury, we would have been in there when... Oops. I know I said I'd invite you to my home after the battle. I guess this is my home at the moment. I was invited to stay in Valley, but... I think I'd rather try to build something up here. With what? <laughs> okay. I, I will not doubt the abilities of... of, um... Lanza. Am I, am I full? Yep. Uh, looking at the recording time. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And I hope to see you next time. Stay spicy.